Hey guys, what's up? Chief Pat here, and today bringing you guys a brand new Clash Royale video. And inside of this video, we're gonna be doing our first ever challenge run on my Chief Pat 2 account. Actually, this is the first challenge I've ever done on either of my accounts, so I'm really excited to get it done. Obviously, on my Chief Pat 2 account, I am not maxed out to tournament standard. I'm only level eight, and most of my cards are level eight commons and level six rares. I have one level nine common, so keep that in mind during this run. And rather than start from the very first battle, I'm gonna go ahead and skip into it. I have like 50 minutes of this recorded but i didn't want to bore you guys to death if you guys want me to do really long videos on the challenges let me know in the comment section below or think about a creative way for how i can show it to you guys uh, to where you guys would still be interested, but I just finished up win number six on this account, or win number seven on this account, to where I have 7,600 gold and 330 cards waiting for me if I ended up losing this next battle. Now, let's go ahead and continue on and go for win number eight. Again, I'm still using my Giant Sparky deck, uh, which has worked so well for me so far. I actually played a lot of Giant Sparky up the ladder, but a lot of people have been running Ro Rocket, which is so, so annoying to play against. And uh, let's go ahead and play against this guy right here. Looks like he's a level nine using the Hog Rider cycle deck. And uh, looks like that defense went pretty well. Obviously, I spent one more elixir than him to play the Fire Spirits compared to the Ice Spirit, and he played one more elixir than me to play the Hog Rider to the cannon. So we're actually exactly even on elixir until he played that poison spell on the elixir collector. And I'm feeling pretty good down this right hand push, and hopefully we can make our way to his tower. Now I still don't know what he has defensively. He could have the zap. He has a bowler. And the bowler is actually extremely good against my deck. The bowler doesn't knock back the Sparky, but it does just knock my troops straight back in a line if I want to play my Musketeer, if I want to play my Valkyrie. And it looks like he actually has the guards as well. So this is going to be a tough, tough guy to beat. He has the guards, he has the zap, he has the bowler. Those are all really strong cards against my deck, as well as the Ice Spirit is as well. And it looks like he's going to make his way to my tower. A really badly placed Musketeer is actually not going to be very well for us. I was happy with that defense until that Musketeer went down the left-hand lane. I wanted to play it um, to where the bowler would attack the Musketeer and not the tower. So because of that misplay, I am going to lose so, so many hit points on this right-hand tower. The bowler is going to keep bowling it away all the way down to 956 HP, so a really critical error by me gave our friend over here a pretty big lead going into the rest of the battle. Now, a minute and 10 seconds left. Things are not all lost if I can make my way to the tower with the Sparky. I am going to have to get pretty crazy with my push and hope he doesn't poison down that right-hand tower, uh, but Sparky's going to go ahead and run down the lane. I've got the giant ready as well, and here's where we make our big push. Again, though, the bowler is so strong against our combination um, we just have to pray and pray and pray that he doesn't shoot down a straight line. But of course he's going to. He's going to start bowling away on all my stuff. I dropped the zap spell as soon as he did. I'm going to drop the fire spirits, hoping we would be able to save the Sparky, but unfortunately we weren't. And uh, yeah, all of that giant, giant push, that big elixir lead that I thought we had built up, ended up doing about 254 damage against his tower. So not really the result that we had been looking for. Now again, he's going to go ahead and keep pushing with the musketeer, with the bowler, as well as the hog rider. Pretty good defense by me as well as my musketeer is in the right place this time to where the bowler won't just attack my tower all the way down means that we can go ahead and reset for the rest of this battle and uh, I'm feeling like this is going to be a tough cookie to crack. I might need to start spamming these elixir collectors. Obviously with the tournament mode um, they do or it does go into overtime for three minutes so keep that in mind. I'm going to play a zap spell on that hog rider just to make sure it doesn't get any damage off against the tower. Sparky's going to be able to knock that out but again we're just going to keep going over and over and over again and it's sort of just waiting for someone to make a big mistake. Now he hasn't made that mistake just yet and seeing as he has plenty of good counters against my deck I don't don't expect him to make that mistake anytime soon. My Sparky's going to get close to locking onto that bowler, though. I thought we might have had a chance to break through right there, but unfortunately, right as my Fire Spirits goes down, he's going to zap down my Sparky. Things are just looking really bad for us, guys. So I'm going to play a Musketeer to kill that, uh, that guard, and it actually ended up helping me out, and it made it so my Sparky killed his um his musketeer now another hog rider down the lane another thing to deal with looks like we're going to be able to take it out fairly easily the bowler is going to be at like one hp so i am going to have to worry about that i played my giants but look at my right hand tower he actually hasn't hit my tower for an extremely long time but because of all those poison spells the tower's all the way down to 420 hp 
Now here's where we're going in yet again. You've, I feel like I've watched the same thing over and over again. We keep pushing down this right hand lane, keep trying to make it to his tower. We're gonna zap down those guards to make sure he doesn't get any additional value right there. Unfortunately, my Sparky does use its blast against the Musketeer that was going to die anyways, but as soon as the Sparky gets ready to fire, it's gonna shoot at the bowler, which is good, but look, we're not damaging the tower at all, and he's just gonna keep frying us with the Hog Rider and the Bowler. Guys, I feel like this could be the end of our tournament run. Hog Rider's gonna get close to the tower, with the towers all the way down to 220 HP. I've just gotta make a push and hope that we can make a difference. Now, my Musketeer has locked onto the tower. Keep that in mind. Look at this Musketeer doing work. The tower's down to 1600, 1400, 1300, 1160, which is pretty good for us. I'm gonna play my cannon um, to stop these guards, but another poison spell means my tower might just be eliminated right here. So uh, things are not looking very good for us. All right, Sparky and Musketeer are gonna go down. Sparky's gonna kill that bowler. The tower's down to 20 HP, which is zappable. So if he zaps my tower, he wins. And as my Sparky makes its way across, he actually used his zap on my Sparky instead of on the tower, which means we're gonna pick up a win. This guy made such a big mistake. He zapped my Sparky when my tower was at 20 HP and he could have zapped my tower for the win. I think he thought he needed to poison spell me, but guys, that win right there is gonna give me another 1700 gold and 90 cards on top of what I've already earned. That means I get 9,300 gold and I get 420 cards for eight wins. I actually got an achievement as well. So let's go ahead and collect the two challenge streak achievements. Uh, actually a reasonable amount of gems. Looks like Supercell's taking note of all, all the complaints of people saying their achievements suck, which they sort of do. And uh, let's go ahead and get into another battle against Hatters from Elixir Overload. So facing non-stop level nines, as you would imagine, once you get past like three wins or so, you don't really see too many level eights. And uh, let's see what deck this guy's playing. Looks like we're gonna go ahead and start off with an Elixir Collector. He's got a giant, which means I think he's probably playing a Sparky, maybe a Balloon. Not really sure right now, but he's gonna play a Poison Spell against my Collector. Now, I'm actually feeling pretty good about the start of this battle because the Giants are gonna be colliding on my side of the map, which is normally what you want when you have Giant facing a Giant inside of your deck. And uh, since the Giant's all the way over here, let's go and play our Musketeer. I'm gonna play a Sparky as well. And uh, even though we might take a shot or two against our Tower, this is actually a pretty decent start because now we're gonna have a little bit of a push behind our Giant. Now, we're going a little bit slower than I thought. It would have been nicer if the Giant didn't run all the way to their side before my surrounding troops could help out. And as he zaps down my fire spirits, my Sparky's gonna lock onto the Ice Wizard, and that's gonna be a dead Ice Wizard, as well as a couple of shots off against the tower. Now still, guards are such, such, such a strong counter against my Sparky. Really tough for me to deal with, especially since my zap doesn't even kill their, like their shield, and my tower take two hits to take the guards out. This is going to be a pain of a match to deal with, but again, another poison spell on my elixir collector. I'll take that trade every single time because I'm still going to get a two elixir profit from it. And uh, let's go ahead and play our giant in the back and start for another push down the right hand lane to see if we can crack to that tower. All right, so he hasn't played anything just yet, so we've got a decent... Um, I guess elixir lead in the present of course in the future He's gonna have way more elixir because of those collectors So let's go ahead and get ready for that counter push Sparky's gonna go down as well musketeer and he's got the same exact defense as he had last time He's just gonna have his giant rumbling down the lane He's gonna have the ice wizard helping out against my giant as well as the musketeer and uh, Yeah, we're just gonna keep colliding over and over again until someone breaks and let's just hope it's not me However, I played my valkyrie just a half second too late It made it so my sparky died because he got locked onto by the musketeer and the ice wizard so not really a good omen for the very uh, first two minutes of this battle, but still things are okay. I'm gonna let the Ice Wizard damage my tower because I don't wanna waste any more Elixir um, since I'm already in an Elixir deficit. Giant in the very back, of course, expecting that he's gonna do the same thing. He'll play a Musketeer instead. And uh, let's just go ahead and keep overloading this right-hand lane. Keep playing pretty much the same card combinations and trying to get a good Zap spell or a good um, Fire Spirits in there to help out. And uh, let's go ahead and do that right now. Now, my Fire Spirits actually got targeted by the Ice Wizard, which really, really was terrible. It's gonna make it so my Sparky isn't gonna take out, or actually it still worked out for my Sparky instead, but it would have helped out for my guards, or for my, um, for my giant as well as my valkyrie to not have the guards beating down on him still sparky's gonna load up and actually shoot down that mini pekka and now he's got a bunch of troops coming over to my lane again i'm really not too worried about those i can just play a zap 
and then of course he's gonna zap me so i'll play my valkyrie to kill his big big clump of troops but still not looking too great for the very first uh, three minutes of this battle we're gonna go into overtime yet again i'm gonna keep pumping up i really feel like this is gonna be a game that's all about the pumps and now that the tower's down to 935 hp i can take a couple more poison spells and he's gonna just keep dropping them over and over again i need to hope that he wastes too much elixir on the poison that i can go for a counter push and win the game and to wrap this one up all right, so we've got Giant Valkyrie, Musketeer, and Sparky Push. He's going to play a Zap spell. I'm going to play another Giant on the right-hand side of the map. Two Giants going over and over again usually is what I can do to help out and to finish off a game. Looks like that Giant's going to go down, not need needing the blast for my Sparky. The Sparky's going to load up and end up getting zapped right before he can shoot the Mini P.E.K.K.A. And we literally cannot break into this guy's base. It's just not possible for us right now. And take a look at the Mini P.E.K.K.A. The Mini P.E.K.K.A. got to my tower. All right, well... That's sort of uh, what happens when you have level six rares face, or you're a level eight facing someone with level seven rares. I thought the mini P.E.K.K.A. would die to the tower before it got there, but since my ta crown tower damage is not strong enough, he ended up getting a hit off and uh, yeah, wasn't able to pierce his defense. And in the end, we got did in for a two to one or a one to zero loss, but still not too worryful. We got eight wins on my level eight account for a 12 win challenge. So I'm pretty happy about that, to be honest. That's 9,300 gold and 420 cards. Like, in comparison, if we bought our gold from the shop, um, you know, we're getting like, I think five times as much value by playing the challenges and getting eight wins. So I'm never, ever, ever going to buy gold out of the shop again on this account or ever think about it. So 9,300 gold, two wizards, 16 knights. We have a 420 guaranteed cards or 10 bomb towers for us a golem so that's going to be our very first epic inside of this chest if we had a legendary card that would be insane 92 minions it's actually a pretty nice card 96 mortars a card that we're never going to play 170 ice spirits very very strong card right now i might need to upgrade that 30 barbarian touch which is ridiculous and finally three giant skeletons for a pretty nice haul on this account so honestly i'm really happy with that we played you know i honestly played decently i didn't play my best throughout the tournament and i still got eight wins on a level eight account where i was facing level nines every single battle over and over again so i'm pretty excited to get um all of that stuff out of the challenge mode i love the challenge mode guys and as you can see we have plenty to upgrade my deck that gold makes it so we can upgrade our zap up to level nine which is so crucial against goblins um which are so annoying to deal with when your zap is under leveled and then finally the the big upgrade for our Sparky up to level two for multiplayer. This might be able to get us up to the legendary arena as a level eight, which would be amazing. So Sparky is now level two. It's going to give me the additional damage it needs to one shot some troops that it doesn't one shot right now, as well as of course the additional hit points, which help out as well. And uh, yeah, that is pretty much it for this video. Guys, I love challenges. Let me know what you think about challenges in the comment section below. Let me know how many wins you guys got. Uh, and yeah, that is going to do it for this video. Final note, like I said in the very beginning, I want to do a lot of challenges on my Chief Pat 2 account, so if you guys have any suggestions for how you want me to do the videos, do you want me to do like a normal 10 to 12 minute video, or do you want me to do longer ones, let me know in the comment section below. I'm still working out how I'm going to do it, and that is going to wrap it up. Until next time, I will see you guys later. Peace out.